In this video, we have three main objectives. Number one is making sure Google Play Services is installed on the device. If the user doesn't have Google Play Services installed on their device, they're not going to be able to use Maps. The second one is making sure GPS is enabled on the device. Devices all have the ability to disable GPS depending on what app is trying to use GPS. So we need to make sure that the application that we're using has GPS enabled on it on the device. The third is making sure that we have the required location permissions explicitly accepted by the user. Since Android version 23, which is Marshmallow, we as developers, we have to explicitly ask users for certain permissions and location permission is one of those permissions. The first thing we'll work on is adding everything we need to the manifest. In the last video, um, you probably remember that I kind of stumbled at the end. I was, I kind of thought that I needed to add one more permission uh, just from my memory and I was right. I, um, I do, we do need to add one more. We need to act, uh, add access, find location. That's going to be the, these are the only two permissions that are required to use Google Maps. So now we're good to go uh, regarding permissions. But as I said at the beginning of the video, we still need to explicitly ask the user for permission, for uh, certain permissions, and access, find location is one of those permissions. So I'm actually going to close the manifest, and we need to work on explicitly asking the user for, for permission. Um, I think main activity is the best place to do this personally because that's main activity is the first activity that gets inflated when the user logs in. So this is where I want to kind of verify everything. I want to verify that they have Google services. I want to verify that the location permission is accepted and I want to verify that they have GPS enabled. So the first one we're going to work on is explicitly asking for location permission. And to do that, we're going to um, need the help of a Boolean. So I'm going to create a new Boolean. And we'll call it M location permission. Actually, M location permission granted. And I'm going to set it to false to begin with. This Boolean is going to be responsible for restricting application access if location permissions haven't been accepted. So if the user does accept them, we'll set the Boolean to true, and then they'll be able to navigate to the other activities, for example. If they don't accept the permission, then the Boolean will be false and they will not be able to navigate to any of the other features of the application. So it's kind of just like a way to, uh, yeah, restrict access is the best way to put it. Now to save time, I've created a gist for all the code that we need to add for this clip. So if you wanna to go to, actually that's not the right URL, one second. That is the right URL, sorry, but this is a shorter version. So if you wanna to go to this URL, um, you can get a gist representing all the code changes for this clip. So you can say this one is labeled mainactivity.java. So here's all the code that we want to add to main activity. And as I said, there's a lot of it. So that's why I created this gist. It's just to save time for me to sit and type this out on video would take a long time. And it's just easier if we copy it and then I'm going to walk through it with you. So I'll open back up Android Studio and I'm going to scroll down to just below the onCreate method right here. I'm going to paste in all that code. And you're going to get some red because you need to import some, some um, libraries. So I'm just going to import all these. Just importing libraries. And we're, we're missing uh, this permission request enable GPS constant permission request access find location. Uh, yeah, so just those two. So those two things are going to be constants in the constants file. So I'm going to open up the project view over here. I'm going to open up the constants file. And I'm going to add those constants. So the first one was uh, permission request enable GPS. So public static final int permission request enable GPS. I'll call that 900. So we'll call that 9002. And what's the other one? I'll just copy this line. The second one is. Oh, I typed that wrong. Sorry. So I'm going to copy that. Going back to constants. I didn't type. No, I didn't. That's right. Okay. So um, just need to import it still. So I'm going to copy this permission request access find location. I'm going to put that here and I'm going to change this to 9003. So now let's go back here. I'm going to close the project tab over here and it's going to ask me to import those constants. There we go. And we're going to import that one too. Okay, so there we go. Um, now we're ready to move forward. So basically, like I said in the introduction, we have three main processes that we're trying to achieve here. We want to make sure Google services is installed on the device. So let's find the method for that. Um, so this is this is the one right here. So is services okay? This method is responsible for uh, determining whether or not the 
uh, the device is able to use Google services. If it's not able to use Google services, you can see that it's going to pop up a dialog and that's gonna help the user get Google services installed on their device. And then um, it will return true if Google services is usable and everything's all good, basically. It will return false if it's not. So that's, that's kind of the first thing. The second one is making sure GPS is enabled on the device. So let's find the method for that. Let's see here. So right here, is maps enabled? This one is responsible for determining whether or not the application that the current application that the user is using has GPS enabled on the device. If it does, it will return true. If it doesn't, it will return false. And also if it doesn't, it's going to call this method build alert message no GPS. Let's take a look at build alert message no GPS. So that's the method right here. So this is going to prompt the user with a dialogue that says this application requires GPS to work properly. Do you want to enable it? If they click yes, then a intent will start and this is going to navigate them. It's gonna open up a setting screen basically on their phone where they can click enable GPS for this application if they want to, or they can leave it disabled. And um, yeah, so that's, that's what that's going to do. Um, you can see that we're using start activity for result here. I'm using start activity for result because I need to know whether or not the user uh, accepted the permissions or denied the permissions. So we're passing that permission request enable GPS constant right here. So start activity for result will run. Um, and then after that, after the result is retrieved, you'll get on activity result running uh, after the user has either accepted or denied the permission. So you can see right here, we're checking for that constant request permission enable GPS. If the user uh, did accept that permissions, um, then we have some other logic here. So if the location permission is true, which is the explicit asking of the location permission, then we're just gonna get all the chat rooms and use the application as it's intended. Otherwise, we need to get the location permissions. So that's, that's kind of the last step. Um, so step one was determine whether or not Google services, where is it? Google services is installed. Step two is determine whether or not they can use GPS with the application. If they can't, they'll be sent to a setting screen to enable it or deny it. Um, upon the result for that, you'll have some the last bit of logic running here, um, either getting the chat rooms if the location permission has been accepted or asking for the explicit location permission. So the last part is this method right here. By the way, if you're confused about any of this, at the end of the video, I'm gonna run through it all in a demo and it's gonna make complete sense, I promise. So just, just follow along with me here, follow, follow along for the rest of the video. So the last thing we're checking is get location permission. And like I said, this is how we're explicitly asking for permission to use the location services. So that's this method right here. So it's saying it's asking for permission to access find location, or sorry, first it's checking to see if that permission has been accepted. If it has been already in the past, then we have our location permission granted Boolean set to true right here. And then we can use the application as it's intended. And in that case, that means getting the chat rooms and doing whatever the user wants to do. If they haven't accepted it, you have this bit of logic here. This is actually going to ask them. So this, this will actually prompt them, a dialog will pop up asking them if it's okay to use location permission. And the last bit of code we have here is on request permissions result. So this is gonna run after they've either denied or accepted the permissions from this dialog right here. So you can see that it passes the constant permission request access find location. And you can see in here, we're checking for that constant. So permission request access find location. Uh, if the result, the grant results length is greater than zero, that means we have some results and they've, uh, and, and we're also checking to see what those results are. If it's been permission granted, then we know that they've allowed location permission. So once again, we have our Boolean being set to true. And at that point, we have everything we need. So that, that would mean that the application is ready to use for the user and everything's good to go. You can use maps basically. Uh, the last thing we need to do is uh, kind of get this process rolling. So right now, nothing is initiating this process. So we need somewhere to do that. And in this case, the best place to do that is actually in on resume. There's basically no way for the user to evade checking these permissions if we call it in on resume. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to write if um, check map services, which I didn't run through this method. So I will actually quickly go through it. So at the very top, we have uh, check map services. So all this does is 
first runs the is services okay method, which checks for Google services, make sure that's okay. Then it runs the is maps enabled method, which checks to make sure that GPS is enabled. And uh, it will either return true or it will return false. So that's, uh, that's what that does. Let's scroll back down to on resume. So if that's all good, then the last thing we need to check is if location, if our uh, location permission granted Boolean is true. If it is, then we know we've ran through all three of our permissions and we can just get the chat rooms and the user can use the application. Otherwise, we need to call uh, get location permission because that would mean that our Boolean is not set to true and we need to explicitly ask the user for those permissions. So now we're ready to test. I've, uh, I have a fresh install on my device and I'm gonna run the application. So I'm going to run it on this, this phone right here and I'm going to show you kind of the full process. I'm gonna, we're gonna run through the logic. Uh, if you're confused, this is the time that you're going to get clarity on everything that we just did. So um, here it comes. Okay, so here is the login screen. Uh, now before I log in, I just wanna note that I've gone ahead and I've disabled GPS on this device. So if I go over to, I have settings open here, you can see I'm in the, if I go back, uh, I'm clicking, I'm in settings and I'm clicking on location here and I have location disabled. So that would mean GPS is enabled. That would mean GPS is disabled. So just note that I have it disabled. Uh, now I'm going to log in with the application. So Mitch at teaming.ca, password, and let's click sign in. So right away, I'm greeted with a dialogue that says, this application requires GPS to work properly. Do you want to enable it? So that's, what, uh, that's what's happening here. So first, check, check map services is running. Let's go take a look at check map services. It's saying Google services is okay. That's good. But when we get to is maps enabled, it's telling me that that location service is not enabled, which is what I just showed you, right? In the settings screen, it's not enabled. So in that case, we have the build alert message, no GPS method being called and the user is being prompted with this dialogue. This application requires GPS to work properly. Do you want to enable it? So let's go and follow through here. So I'm gonna click yes. Takes me to the settings screen. I'm gonna enable this. I'm gonna go back and there we go. Now we get a different dialogue. So uh, that would mean if we scroll down, we have on activity result being called. Uh, the request enable GPS was triggered. Uh, location permission was not granted. So we didn't get the chat rooms. Uh, so instead we called the get location permission and that's what you see on the screen here. Get location permission is called. So let's take a look at that. Uh, so it checked to see if access find location was uh, equal to access granted. It obviously wasn't because in that case we would just get the chat rooms. Instead the user was prompted with this dialogue right here which is what you see on the screen. So now I'm going to click allow and we uh, looks like we get access to the application. So. Uh, I clicked allow, so on permission request was called. It checked to see request access find location. And at that point, our Boolean was set to true. So that's great. That means we have everything we need and the application is working as it should. So uh, now in the next part, we can move forward and work on actually displaying a Google map. So what we're gonna do is uh, if we go to, sorry, go to a chat room and then go to the user list uh, we're going to display a Google map in the lower portion of this fragment right here. 